once in every two months. And after each module, you are supposed to do an individual assignment of 5,000 words. That is the first structure. The second structure is that you need to pass all the four modules before you are allowed to defend your th title. We call it the title defense. Title defense is whereby your topic must be approved by the board before even you can do the thesis. And for your title to be approved, there is a special class for it because a title is not just you present your topic. You have to present at least a working paper of 10,000 words. 10,000 words, a working paper. You cannot simply produce a title like how you produce an MBA. Okay? After that, we will see your title and upon approval of the title, we will then allocate a supervisor to you for you to proceed with your thesis. The supervisor will depend on the topic that you have chosen normally if we do not have in universities when they do not have the expertise to handle your title they will ask you to change or they will ask you to modify it but we do not do that we will allow you to choose your title as how you want it and we will get you a supervisor based on your title whether it can be a person locally or via online. We have got students who did Galaxy. We couldn't find anyone. Yeah, we couldn't find anyone in Malaysia and we had to find someone via online. Okay. And after all places, I found a supervisor of Galaxy in Indonesia. Okay. Okay. And you are working people. You will not have that much time to do this kind of things. Let me tell you very frankly. Because none of them finish this program in 18 months. It will take minimum 3 years. Let me not give you a flowery picture. Because later you will come to me and say, Oh, you said everything is easy. <laughs> it is not. This is a PhD program. A DBA which is equivalent to a PhD at level 8. Highest level. After this is the PhD Habilitata, if you want to do. Yes, PhD Habilitata, highest among all. Okay, only a few people have that. You will meet a professor who will teach you who has that. Okay, you will meet him. Right, so this is how the structure of the program is. Okay, now. We have modified the program for you. We have modified the program for you because we do not want you to be in the same category as students. You are working people. You do not have much time like students. So the program is a little bit modified. Whereby... All these four modules are now compressed. Okay, are now compressed into a five days program here and another five days in Malaysia. Okay, five days here and another five days in Malaysia. Now, in Malaysia, when you go back, they will give you a question. And during the five days, you will discuss on how to tackle the questions based on what you have learned in the five days here. 
So when you reach Malaysia, you should know what is qualitative studies. You must know what is quantitative studies. You must know your research paradigm. You must know which are the research areas that you are going to tackle. Everything should be in your hand. If you are not ready, you must tell me. Because not all of you can be ready. Not all of you can put everything five days in a head and say, I can do a DBA. No. If you can accept 2% of what you have learned in these five days, it's good. Two? Oh, 2%. Yeah. Okay, I get three. It's good. Don't be, don't be too excited of starting your thesis or doing your framework now. It is still early. You are still crawling. That's good. Cool. Do not put your mind and stress yourself. Let the program be scared of you, not you being scared of the program. Okay, so relax. Thank you for the compliment. What you need to do is pay full attention for the five days here, which I believe you did. I have noticed your questions. I have noticed how you have related your ideas. You are there. You are there. You mean 2%? Okay? Yes, the 2% is definitely there. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That's good news. Yeah, the 2% is already there. But for you, the hypothesis, the, 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 the diagram, the fundamentals of doing this study is still at an infant stage. Okay? It will take a little bit of time. Okay, now let me also warn you in two areas. Some of you may use this doctorate title for your benefit in the sense that maybe you want to use it in your consultancy work. You may want to do your, do your training. Or you want to, in Malay we say shock sandiri. <laughs> we want to use the doctor title. Okay? It doesn't matter. You're paying for it. You do what you like with it. Okay? Nobody can say anything to you. But... If ever you are going for teaching, this is not enough. This is not enough. Not even to supervise somebody who is doing a DBA. Not enough. It's beyond that. Okay, it's beyond that. Yeah. So, when you are doing this, I hope you understand on which areas you are going to tackle. That I will leave it to you. If you are intending to be an academician, teaching, come and see me. Because this is not the route for you. This is not the route for you. You will not be able to teach anybody with five days or even ten days. You will not be able to teach anybody just because you did a thesis. It's beyond that. As you can see, the professors who came and taught you are all... Mm, Usang already. Yeah. <laughs> Usang is old. Seasoned. <laughs> Season. We don't bring young people to teach all this. Correct. The seasoned. Because they have to know the entire thing, uh, the fundamentals, and then they have to make sure that you understand on what you're actually doing. Our university, one more thing. We emphasize very much on you publishing your book. We do not want you to just finish a thesis, get your doctorate and go. If you can see our website, I think it's soon coming out. You can see many books inside there, which is all done by our DBA students. They put under Amazon. Some have put under Amazon. Okay? Try to be, publish your book. That is the ultimate goal. Even better than getting your DBA. Because when you have a book, like you see some authors, when they have a book, they will carry the book and say, this is the author of so many books. Then they have training. The whole hole is full. Whether training good or no, don't care. <laughs> <laughs> the whole hall is full.
He is the author of this seven colors or seven habits. When you read the habits, this is the daily thing I'm doing at home. But this is how it is: the marketing, branding, image. Okay, all right. So now you are not going to do the four modules one by one for eight months. This is compressed. In Malacca, when we meet, mm -hmm. we are going to give you a question and we will be splitting you into groups. There may be five in a group. That means there will be two groups. And you have to produce a project paper within your group. Meaning that five, if there are five of you, you have to come out with the project of 40,000 words. Mm. You have to come with a project of 40,000 words. But you are not going to come with the project paper in Malacca. You will only be taught how to come out with this project paper. After Malacca, you will meet among yourselves, in, among the group. You will meet elsewhere. And then you will sit and discuss and come up with this project paper. We will give you a time frame of eight months for you to come up with the project paper. Because if I give you shorter than that, it's impossible that you can come up with. Because individually you have to put up 5,000 to 6,000 words. Your time when the, now you are free, the moment you step into Malaysia, you will be busy. Okay, don't think that you have this kind of time. <laughs> you will not have. And you cannot be blamed because the nature of your work, your family is such. Okay? This is only a little bit time in your life that you have daily, that you can squeeze. When I was studying, I had only 29 minutes in a day for my studies. And I made it as a 29 minute theory for me. That is, before I go to bed, I spend 29 minutes to study. It's not 30, not 31, not 28. 29 minutes, my alarm will ring, I'll close the book and go and sleep. Make it 28. Nah. <laughs> 29 minutes, minute, theory. Minute. I have, that, is, that is no written theory, it's my own theory. Okay? And I had the best time to do thesis or any writing was when I was flying. In the flight, I had that kind of time because I did not know what to do. Like a movie, you know? <laughs> okay, so I had so much. So if you are traveling, there's no excuse. Because traveling time is the best time for you to do your thesis. Mm. There's no excuse. Mm. No more movie. <laughs> okay? Yeah. Now, time management and all the things, you all are adults and all that, I'm not going to speak about time management. You should know how to handle your own time management. Uh, which is not a topic to be discussed for DBA students. Especially people who are working like you. Alright? That will not be discussed. Okay. So in eight months, you have to produce this <coughs> paper. But if you can produce earlier, it's also welcome. It's also welcome. This will then go for marking. Okay? This will go for marking. And during grading... If there is, there is, we don't, we will not send you the paper and say, hey, you failed, uh, you know, can, must do again. No, we don't do that. Mm. We will send you and we'll give you comments for you to <coughs> improve the paper. <coughs> then again, among the group, you must come and uh, improve the paper. Okay, now, when you're working, because we have already started the DBA, just for your information, our DBA students in Malaysia is 67, plus you is going to be about 80. All right, we have one of the highest number of DBA students, even we beat any universities. Okay, we have that many students. Yeah, and the graduates, you know our graduates who recently graduated. Okay, Datin Haja Paduka, uh, Noraida from PKNS, Dato Haji Osman, PKNS, Dato Heda Sharif, Penang Port. Okay, all are top guns. Dato Samson George, Nazakia, COO. All right, all our are top. We have a lot of professors Atuk who Uchai. also in, in, in this program. Atuk okay, and we have three lecturers from University Utara Malaysia who did our program also passed. All right, 
So those people also, they took about three and a half years. Okay? They took three and a half years to finish this. So what I'm trying to say is that there is no rush. Nobody is asking you to rush. Nobody is asking you to rush. Okay? Do it at the pace that you have. Do it properly and earn the doctorate properly. Earn it. Put your name up there. Published by so and so. Doctor so and so. That is the way that you do it. Okay? So once you have completed this, and if it's not up to the mark, we will give you back the project. You all meet together and rectify it and send. Okay. The only difficult thing about this group project is you will start arguing because this is my experience <laughs> handling all the group. Oh, dia tak buat lah. Dia ni, every time meeting, dia tak datang. Tapi, we have to give him marks. We have to give him marks. Each time we call not coming and his input. Because of his input, we never get good marks. <laughs> ah, so you must have your proper understanding. Okay? Arguments will happen. Ah. Some people say, Alamak, saya tak tahu macam mana dia masuk DBA lah. You don't have any knowledge. Uh, I have heard all these things. I'm telling from the true perspective. Generation gap. <laughs> I've heard this. So I think you all must sit down. When I group you all later, I will be doing the grouping. Alright? So when I do it later, you all must have a proper consensus, clear mind of what you're intending to do. Okay, now. If you're giving a group project and we are five of us, how are we going to do the work? Don't worry. In the five days that you are in Malacca, all this will be resolved. All this will be told to you on how to go about it, what you are supposed to do, what A person is supposed to do, what is B person's job. Everything will be clearly identified. <clears throat> mm -hmm. Okay? You will have... Professor Zamzulaila, who will also come and teach you. You will have Professor Suhaida, who will also be there. You will have Professor Dilip, who I told you, who has got the PhD Habilitata, who will be there. And of course, your group project will be handled by Professor Gopal. Okay? From RMIT Australia. So all are very, very high lecturers. Okay? Uh, two are local, two are international level. Okay, so you will be guided accordingly, but they will not be your supervisors. Okay, neither I can be your supervisor, mm. neither Professor Yohan can be your supervisor because we avoid from Pile Kasi. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we cannot give favoritism to anybody. Because if we give favoritism, your your intention of being coming up with a nice thesis will not take place. Everything we will say, okay lah, close one eyes. Okay? Then that will deprive you from coming up with a good thesis. But but any time you can call me, Professor Jovan or anybody for advice, they will give you the required advice. Okay? Or you can just email to us or even WhatsApp to us and whenever we have the right time, we will reply to you. That is done. Okay? Once this is done, then we will let you know when your next step is to deliver your proposal. We will give you, we will have a class, a two-day class. We will teach you how to write a proposal and once it's done, then you will start preparing a proposal. We give you three months. Okay? We will give you three months. And in the three months, we will call for a viva. <coughs> During the viva, there will be three people sitting in front of you who will be going through your proposal and they will give you the approval. If it's not approved, they will ask you to resubmit. 
Okay, why this is important? Because they want to make sure that there is no copying. <laughs> they want to make sure that the university doesn't get into any trouble with any authorities. By you bringing some topics which are very, very sensitive. That is why we do a Bible. Okay? We cannot hurt the university. Neither you can hurt yourself and neither you can hurt anyone else with your thesis. So we need a viva. And once the viva is done, you will receive a letter from the university saying that you have passed and you can proceed with your thesis. And the following person is your supervisor. This is his phone number. This is his email address. Please contact him or her. Okay. But you will but the supervisor may not only be for one person, you may have a shared supervisor. Especially if your subjects are more on management, then one supervisor may handle three or four students. Unless your topic is totally different, then you will not get a face-to-face -face supervisor, you can get an online supervisor. You can Skype or anything you want. Okay? You can Skype or anything you want. Okay, now, when you get a supervisor, the supervisor has also to be careful. The supervisor will not simply agree with what you want. Because the supervisor has to take care of his side or her side also. Okay? Because of sensitive issues. So basically, you must give full attention to your supervisor. They will advise you accordingly because in your paper, when you submit, as for what Professor Yewan told you, the supervisor's name will be mentioned inside. They do not want people to ask, what kind of supervisor guided you? <laughs> they always want to know, wow, which supervisor guided you? <laughs> yeah, that is why some supervisors are always in demand. Uh, when you go, especially this is in universities, the students will always want a certain supervisor. I want to be with him. Yeah. Yes, Susa pun tak apa. Because when I put his name in my book, when I go to any organization, people will take me. Because I'm under him. That's the reason. That's the reason. Okay, because some supervisors are authors, they are well known. Yeah? So, but for you, as far as you are concerned, in your level, and uh, as far I know that most of you are not going into teaching, you are going more into consultancy work and things like that, it is sufficient. Okay, it will be sufficient. All right, it will be sufficient. But, of course, even you don't go for teaching, you can still supervise students. So there is no worries. Yeah, you can still use your DBA for many things in future. Okay. So that is the delivery. Once you have your thesis is passed, I mean, sorry, once you have completed your thesis, we give you one year. If you need extension, just write to us. Okay? Waiwa will only be held once in a year. That time you will see Professor Yawan because he is one of the main panel of the university. He will be there. Okay? You have to convince him. But there will be others, because during Waiwa, there will be four, okay? And all these four will come from different countries, okay? Will come from different countries, yeah? And your, the way you present, your slides, everything must be perfect for you to score your marks, all right? But even then, normally, uh, you will not go through well in the first round. You have to go for your second Waiwa. Normally, it's like that, all right? So, but second Waiwa will not be four people, will be only two people to see whether you have complied to all the amendments that they have requested you to do. And once you have done that, you will graduate. They will tell you, yes, you will graduate. Then we'll have a graduation ceremony. And when the moment you receive your scroll, you can use your title doctor. Okay? You will be called doctor so and so. 
All right. So this is the DBA process. For those who are still do not understand earlier, this is what it is. Okay. Now, anything else you want to ask me with regards to the doctorate program? If if there is no question, because because after this. I will let you know why you are here, not the university and all other matters. Yes. My question is, okay, um, is it a minimum requirement to do the thesis within one year or what if we, we finish earlier? Is it still? Your all approval will come from your supervisor, whether the supervisor is satisfied. Yeah, but it's still like It is doable, it is doable, it is doable, but again, your graduation, you still have to wait. You have still have to wait for the graduation. And what is the maximum? <laughs> oh, maximum time, it doesn't matter because you cannot go up to five years. Five years. Yeah, yeah. There are, there are almost 60% of students who have crossed the three years, have not completed yet. Okay. As I told you, we have got 67 students. The actual difference between DBA and PhD, I'm still not. Okay, the, the, the both, both uh, DBA, DBA, it's very much on management side. Very much on management side, a step higher than master's program. Management side, the research will not be that extensive. And normally DBS, you finish faster. Once you complete PhD, okay? PhD is in a sense that you cannot do like what you're doing now. You have to attend regular classes, okay? Uh, they will have four or five classes in a month or maybe even two, one every week you will have classes. And uh, you have a lot of work to do in PhDs while your research is very, very, very extensive. And normally PhD people definitely will go into education. Mm. Education. Education. You will not normally come into management work. But if you are a DBA holder, you can still hold a position in the corporate world. Mm. Or you can go for teaching. Those days they will not allow DBA students to teach. Nowadays they allow. Nowadays, you can teach. Okay. But in academic standard, both are level 8. There is no such thing as one is down, one is up. No, both are level 8. And that hab habilitata? PhD habilitata is ha uh, once you're completed your highest level 8, okay. there is one more. They call it the postdoctoral. Postdoctoral. Post postdoctoral. Normally, that one, you don't have classes and all that. There will be one person from the university who will be with you. Uh, basically, you are releasing one more book which is not available in this world. <laughs> mm. Something is very different. But you can go for your second DBA or you can even go for your PhD, no issues. Because you're doing in Uni Georgia or even Katowice School of Economics, whichever university you do, if you want to do your PhD, you can go to any uh, universities in Europe. It's accepted. Because your DBA is accepted in Europe or, or even Australia or US. In our DBA, is it um, by Uni of Georgia or Katowice? Uh, yours, basically, you are registered under University of Georgia, as far as I know. Okay, you are registered under University of Georgia up to today. If there is any changes, I think Asmara will let you know. Or if you insist that you want a certain university, I suggest that you see Asmara. Okay, just see them and tell them what you need. Yeah, we are delivering the program because we deliver either University of Georgia, Katowice School of Economics, or even... Uh, yeah, these are the two under unis, but the thing is that we uh, follow the same structure, same mode of delivery, no difference, okay? Only thing is that uh, the school is in Poland and one is in Netherlands or uh, Georgia, you know, it's, it's just the country. But both come under the Bologna harmonization process of Europe, they are equally accredited, and uh, they are all legitimate universities which are recognized by the respective government of their respective countries. <clears throat> what are the dates in Malacca? I don't know. No, I will come back to you on this. Because if I'm not mistaken, it should be in April. I have a question. Yes. The database for SS usually for 
Do they have database access? Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, uh, there will be some database given to you. The library will be there uh, from the university. But let me tell you, it is not sufficient. When you're doing DBA, not sufficient only on the university library. You should go to your private libraries and do research. And you also should pay to some libraries like go to Gate and all that. Go to the library and do the payment. And you can get more books. That is all your effort. The university has its library, but it's, it's limited. Because I know very well that it's not enough for you to do, uh, get your full research. It is not only uh, our university, but some of the universities. So what you can do, some of our students, they uh, do uh, research through University Malaya, for example. University Uttara, they have got good materials. Because they are ACC, AECB accredited, so they have to comply to the world standard. So two or three universities in Malaysia, they have good libraries. Okay, and just bear in mind, our PhD students are really good huh? in Malaysia. Because they are Tara. Okay, they are grilled. They are Tara. Okay, and uh, uh, just for information, it is legal. Legal for you to engage a researcher. At least a university student, okay? If Malaysia is slightly expensive, but if you uh, get somebody from Indonesia, it's cheaper. Uh, you get a research student from any of the universities to do the research for you because you will not have that time. Let me tell you. What is the price range like? <laughs> uh, maybe it's just uh, uh, some pocket money for them. It's yeah. about uh, maybe every quarterly you pay about two, three hundred ringgit oh, for them to do. Okay. Yeah. They'll be happy. Because they are finding the books and then they'll give you. You say you want something on this matter. Then they'll research and they'll give you a few. They'll send you a few. Yeah. Okay, one more thing. You must be very careful. Plagiarism. All your work will be put under a system called turn it in. It's a software of turning in. You are only allowed to copy and paste twenty percent. The other eighty percent must be your own words. If it's more than thirty percent, you will be asked to redo your paper, including the project paper that you are going to do in a group. Will be put under turning in. What's the name again? Turn it in. Turn it in. It's a software that most of the universities use. We call it turn it in. Can we turn it off? <laughs> <laughs> okay. We use it turn it in. Okay, so that is about the university, about how we deliver the program. Okay? So okay. The next question is that. Why is the five days being done here? This five days can be done anyway by right. It can be done in Malaysia. It can be done uh, anyway. Or even you can do a 10 days in Malaysia. It's, it's been done anyway. But as far as I know, when I spoke to Asmara, they said that they want to give students a different exposure. Because in Malaysia, you will not get this. What you've gone through the five days. Okay? In Malaysia, it's a different kind of delivery altogether. So basically, it just gives you an idea of how much that you have uh, learned in these places. It makes you a comparison. All right? Uh, and with you, since you are here, there are also certain elements that you have learned from the lecturers which may not be able available in Malaysia. So basically, I think the five days here, if it has given you the 2% knowledge, then it is good. Okay. Now, we have a campus which is about uh, 25 minutes drive from here. That is our Netherlands campus. We have equally good accommodation. We have equally good uh, facilities, everything. Of course, it's being a campus. But there is a reason why it is being done here simply because what I understand from Asmara is due to the food. It is more 
we can order the food accordingly here there we can't you have to eat what they have served you so most of the time earlier the students were complaining due to the food because they said it's not halal <coughs> okay here our food lunch and all that is cake it's it's tailor made you don't see other things it's, it's only chicken beef fish and all that and what i know is we paid a, a little bit extra money 7 pound uh, 7 euro and 50 7.50 euro to get this meat from muslim sellers whereas in rolduk they do not want to do that okay the second thing is that they also told me the reason why it's being held here is simply because from here the taxi to go to Aachen and all that is cheap and walls is just very near from rolduk to go to Aachen is very expensive and it's far So this is based on the earlier complaints that they received from students that they want to do it here. Okay, so as far as the university is concerned, we follow the direction given to us and we handle the program here. That is what happened. This unit has other campus? We have a campus in Georgia. In Georgia. Yeah, TBS. and when you do in Katowice, we have a campus here, we have a campus in Prague, we have a campus in Slovakia, we have a campus in uh, Venice, uh, sorry, in, in uh, Vienna, and also campus, and, and three campus in Poland. And the Catholic. Yes. Yes. But it doesn't stop. Even you're doing Uni Georgia, maybe one day we can still do in other campuses. Barcelona. Yeah, soon we'll be having Barcelona also. So there are many places that we can do the program. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, because Katowice School of Economics, they have got uh, full campuses in these places because they offer different different programs at different different countries. Katowice is a place. Katowice, yes. Where is it? Yes, it is uh, very near to Krakow, Poland. Oh. It is an hour drive from Krakow. You can speak to Asmara if you want to know. Because the thing is that end of the day, you still need to know about the universities. Whether you want Uni Georgia or whether you want Katowice. Uh, that, is, that one I cannot uh, tell you. Hey, you must take this. No, it is not fair. So in your own understanding, what you like, I think you can speak to Asmara. But at this moment, you are registered under Uni Georgia. Now the situation here is, you have to understand that do not stress yourselves by doing all kind of frameworks and your thesis and that relax first. Yeah. Enjoy. <laughs> so no class. Huh? Enjoy. Like what professor? <laughs> professor Yohan. Where is Professor Yohan? Ah, yeah, he's there. Enjoy yourselves. <laughs> Yeah, do not. You are not going to do the thesis tomorrow. The thesis may take the next two years. All depends on how you are going to fare in your project paper. And more important, how are you going to work in a group? Where are you going to find the time? How are you going to meet each other? I means I will be more worried about that. You can be a smarter group. So when you want to do this, when you want to do, it's you have to do your own WhatsApp group. You have to have a meeting, but don't meet every day and now. You can meet every one month once. <laughs> don't need to meet every time, you know? So you can do that. Uh, meeting over dinner, lunch, or even high tea, or maybe a Sunday evening. Yeah, that will be better. And please don't complain, these people never came, the Christmas never put in food, this one bodo, this one bodo, don't say all the things, everything <laughs> will be fine. <laughs> Everybody will be fine, yeah? 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. so it's just that, uh, yeah, yeah, help each other. Help each other. Help each other. Mm-hmm. Help each other. Right. Tapi jangan orang duduk, aja ambil orang lain minyak ni. You all leave me lah, kan? You all put your input. Huh? Okay, now, for you to actually get your input, you have to do a lot of studies. If you don't do studies, and if you are going to depend on what you receive here, it's not enough. The professors cannot give you everything within the five days. Okay? This is a process. So you must do a lot of research. The problem when we mark the papers, <coughs> okay, when we mark the papers, the problem we found out is the student do not have enough knowledge. No, they know too much. Yeah. They know that they did not research much. So half of them are confused between qualitative studies and quantitative studies. Mm. They're totally confused. This must be drawn very clearly. And for you to draw this very clearly, you have to have a good understanding. And to have a good understanding, you must do proper studies. Because the program is such. This is an adult learning program. If we put you under academic, oh, lagi like susah. It's going to be very difficult. You will not be able to cope up. Because even in my local university, of course it's not published, but I know the dropout rate is almost 47%. 47%. It's very alarming, but it's not published. A lot of people halfway the line. Some of them who did it are those who have taken chutti sambil bekerja. They managed it. While working, going class. If you do academic. Ini, this way, you ulah sikit sana sini pun boleh habis. Belah banyak. Boleh. Okay. There are people who finish in two and a half years also. There are. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you also, why we do not want you to finish early. When you go for your employment or when you go for anything, when somebody sees you finishing early, they will not believe you. <laughs> they will not believe you. Even if you have done genuinely, people will say you paid for it. Ini mesti beli punya ni. Mana ada macam ni orang belajar. They say like, kalau kau boleh buat 18, mas pasinya semua boleh buat. They will talk to you like that. So that is why the time frame is important. So, enjoy and do the program. Relax. <laughs> Slowly. Okay. Yeah, enjoy and do the class. program. Huh? Enjoy. Class. Slowly <laughs> do the program. Wait for the next class. Okay. Whatever I told you, you think all that. You put your mother dah. You can see kejap you are already doing your thesis. Whatever it is. What do you want? All right. <laughs> you put your mother on this one. You will get it done. And you have, you are lucky because you have a lot of people to help you. A lot of people will help you. Just call me or call anyone, people will help you. Okay? Okay. Let me just tell you one more thing. When you are into this program, okay, which university and all that, you can go Asmara and you can talk to them. But the moment you are doing this program, you are totally with the university. The university will give you guidance. Not Asmara. That you must understand. Delivery, notes, everything come to the university. We are there. Okay? Because now it's, it's, it's you, are, you are with us already. Okay? So, you have to talk to the university. Anything of your, this one. But with, when it concerns your payment and things like that, you can go to Asmara. The delivery, methodology, everything until you graduate is belong to the university. Alright? 
That's very important for you to understand. So feel free to write to me or SMS me. You have my number. You can get my number. Uh, feel free to write to me because I am in charge of this program for Asia. All right, for whole of Asia. So you will not, that is why when, the, when it comes to Viva, you will not see only yourselves, you can see students from other countries also. And when you graduate, you will also graduate with students from other countries. All right? There will be many of them coming. So you contact me for anything and I will give you the direction. Because I am the nearest person to you. Yeah, not Professor Yawan. Professor Yawan is very far. Yeah. I'm the nearest person to you. But that, that does not mean you cannot call Professor Yawan. You are welcome to call him anytime you want also. Okay? There is no difference here. <coughs> only time difference. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, only time difference. Yeah. And I come directly from the university. I am not an agent. I am not a representative. I am not appointed or what. I am a staff of the university. Okay? Professor Yohan pays me. So. Maybe some of us didn't know, don't know who's prof Professor Yohan is. Pro Professor Yohan is the uh, uh, director of UNIS. Some he of us. Is, some he of us. is yeah. the... Uh, he is the main man of UNIS. See, UNIS, under UNIS umbrella, we have got Uni Georgia, we have got Katawai School of Economics. Uh, uh, Professor Yovan has a mandate by both the universities to offer degrees on behalf of these universities without even referring to the universities. Yeah, so, yeah, he has that power. Rector, eh? Yeah, he's the rector. Uh, former rector, but now he's the director of the unis, meaning Ooh. that both universities he, he takes care. Wonderful. Yeah. All right. So and and we, uh, I am one of his staff, who delivers the entire programs in Asia. So we have one office in Malaysia in Bangsa. <coughs> That's where my office is. In Bangsa Shopping Center. Yeah, Menara BRDB. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is our regional office. Okay. Some yeah. Is yeah, yeah, yeah. So from there, we control all the areas. Just for your information, we have got almost about 500 students in Nepal. Wow. That's yeah, nice. and we, yes, Nepal, we are fine. That is why we are going to Kathmandu on, on Saturday for the graduation. Oh. Yeah, we have students in Indonesia. We are, we are, we are merged with Marchibona University. And we are in Bangladesh. The, our country manager from Bangladesh will also come in to Kathmandu for the graduation. And we have got about 35 students from Bangladesh who are going to do the three-year degree in Poland. Ooh, Poland. <laughs> and in Malaysia, we have already graduated about 400 of our students. We have got, as I told you, 67 students DBA, plus you all, another 12 DBA. That means about, about 80 DBA students. And we got almost about 100 and 170 MBA students. Am I right, Professor? Yeah, about 172 MBA students. Besides what Asmara gives, besides that, we have 100 hour students. Maybe for future, <laughs> for future intake, you should brief this prior to us. Yes, um, uh, sometimes you see the thing is that I am not there. Yeah, because most of the time I'm traveling. Yeah. Yeah. So someone told me that someone was making some jokes here, saying that uh, it's been time that you haven't gone back home. <laughs> you see, you, yeah. being on top of some people and not being home and all that. Was it you? Yeah, yeah just now, just now you, were, you were laughing. Maybe the girlfriend, uh, girlfriend. Yeah, perhaps you have not seen your wives for maybe one week, two weeks. <laughs> I've not seen for past four and a half months. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I see them only about three months to four months in a year. I'm on the move. I teach in many places. Yeah, and I do a very large consultancy in Philippines. Prof on the go. Yeah, I have a big consultancy of, of almost 250 people in, in uh, Philippines. I'm doing a big project for three years. Okay? 
So don't worry about all that. Soon we will all be home. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So, How do we contact you? <laughs> no, no, no. I'm always on the move. I, I, my phone is roaming. My phone is roaming all the time. Roaming. WhatsApp group ada ramu. WhatsApp group is there. Uh, I will answer anything you want. Uh, Professor Yawan is also on the move. But Professor Yawan, most of the time, he is in between here. So he is more static than me. I already added you in the LinkedIn. LinkedIn. Yeah. <laughs> Easy yeah. to communicate. So this is how the operations is. And and even, even in Indonesia, we have about 25 students. So we do, he was already doing the DBA. They will also be joining you all soon. Hmm. Alright. Okay. So if there is anything, you can let me know. Okay. Huh? If uh, it's still written on our project paper in Malaysia, what kind of project paper actually? Oh, the project paper. It, no, no. That one. It all depends on the on the lecturer. He will come with a question, and the question will be based on the four subjects that you have learned here. The four: qualitative method, quantitative method, uh, research methodology, thesis. All these four will be combined into a project. So they will give you a, a case study. Based on the case study, you will come up with a project. Yeah. Like we did for the MBA yeah. last time. Yeah. yeah, we give you eight months to do it. Yeah, so you have sufficient time. <laughs> but the thing is that the, the two groups we have already passed eight months still belum summit lagi. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I leave it to you all. Okay, so. Because this is always remember, this is not a diploma, this is not a degree, this is not a master's, this is your highest level of studies. Okay? <coughs> and when you are in the highest level of studies, and especially when you are working people, this is the challenge. If you are a student, it's a different story. But being a working people, Especially when you have a family, <laughs> this is it. Okay, this is it. All right. So that's all. Thank you very much. Have your lunch. Oh. Don't be, uh, don't be worried and all that. As I told you from day one, and and now I'm telling you, enjoy. Prof, one last question. We are going to get there. One last question yes. for this specific program on Saturday. Do we have class on what topic? Oh yes. Okay. Yeah. Once, once you, you see, you, you are, Professor Yohan will handle you all on Saturday. Okay. It's going to be a half day class. Ah, good. Okay, it's only a half day class, don't have to worry. We are going to Friday, there is no class. Yeah. Because you're going to the? The you, parliament. parliament, yep. Okay, you're going to the parliament. Why are you going to the parliament? Because we just want to take you out from the class. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, just give you a clear mind, just take you out from the class. All right? It is all paid for already, yeah? So 